Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell with ThePoultrySite.com, and today we're here with Tara York. She is a technical manager with AV Vista. So thanks for being with us today, Tara. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Very good. Tell me a little bit about what you're learning uh, about Woody Breast. All right. So Woody Breast is basically a muscle myopathy that a lot of folks are starting to do research on. What we finally have found is that it's really building down to an oxidative stress due to some potential local hypoxia within the tissue. So people say, well, what does phytase have to do with that? And for us, we kind of fell into it inadvertently. We were doing some research on catfish and we were finding benefits of higher iron, iron being released, which is important for hemoglobin and um, oxygen transport. That was one part of it. The other part of it is from an antioxidant component at the tissue level. We know that if we can break down phytate to pure inositol, it gets rephosphorylated and acts as an antioxidant within the tissues. So we started kind of thinking, all right, well, maybe there's a benefit of superdosing of phytase in this role that we could bring a benefit. And we ran studies combining superdosing with um, other things that support the oxidative status of the animal, such as organic zinc and ethoxyquin. And basically what we found is that we're not going to eradicate woody breast by any stretch of the imagination, but we have been able to reduce the severity of the woody breast, um, which is quite important. Very good. So what does this mean from a producer standpoint? Well, producers are struggling every day with woody breast. I was talking to someone today that was saying that even in their, their larger birds, they're still seeing about 30% of the most severe forms of woody breast, which are twos and threes. What we're finding in our research is that when we're, when we're actually supporting this oxidative status of the animal through the superdosing and combining it with other trace minerals and ethoxyquin, we're actually decreasing the levels of those twos and threes, or the threes more importantly, by about 50% in several of our research studies. So for them, it's not a true fix, but it's something that they can help maybe alleviate or reduce the reduction of their severity, um, which is important to them because they're getting pushback from their customers that they don't want to buy meat that has this woody breast component. Very good. Well, thank you so much for all the information. All right. Sarah. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is Sarah Mike Sewell with the PoultrySite.com.